Summons to Love, W. Drummond of Hawthornden. This is a beautiful description of love being compared to the beauty of a sunrise and how it captures our attention. The descriptions are alive and I was enjoying it, if not fully understanding it. And then I reached the end. Whoa! I ended up thinking this was a man on his deathbed and looking forward to being reunited with his loved one. It is morning and he sees the sky go from black to brilliant, rouse Memnon's mother from her Tython's bed, makes me think of Egypt, Egypt and how they show the sun traveling across the sky. Is there a foreshadowing, roses at a funeral? What career? Death? There is something about the nightingales as well, haunting and eternal, sounds like finality to something. She will embrace him like an angel, more than she ever was on earth. Such a stark contrast, the, respl the resplendent godlike sunrise and then the ugly night. Did he toss and turn all night? Was he sick with pain? The morning light is a reminder of her and his happiness then. Um, if fate allows, he will join her in the grove grave. When she was surprised by a stream, does this, does this hint at how she died? He is ready for what is to come and wants no chiding from the natural world surrounding him to stay behind. Is he drifting in and out of consciousness? The sunrise becomes day, the beauty is obvious, and he recognizes the pleasantness of this place. But alas, she is not in it. He feels his summons to love. Phoebus, arise, and paint the sable skies with azure white and red. Rouse Memnon's mother from her Tython's bed, that she thy career may with roses spread. The nightingales thy coming each where sing. Make an eternal spring. Give life to this dark world which lieth dead. Spread forth thy golden hair in larger locks than thou wast wont before, and emperor like decor with diadem of pearl thy temples fair. Chase hence the ugly night which serves but to make dear thy glorious light. This is that happy morn, that day, long wished day, of all my life so dark, if cruel stars have not my ruin sworn and fates my hopes betray, which purely white deserves an everlasting diamond should it mark. This is the morn should bring unto this grove my love to hear and recompense my love. Fair King, who all preserves, and show thy blushing beams, and thou to sweeter eyes shalt see than those which by Peneus streams did once thy heart surprise. Now, Flora, deck thyself in fairest guise, if that ye winds would hear. A voice surpassing far Amphion's lyre, your furious chiding stay. Let Zephyr only breathe, and with her tresses play. The winds all silent are, and Phoebus in his chair, and saffering sea and air, makes vanish every, every star. Night like a drunkard reels beyond the hills to shun his flaming wheels. The fields with flowers are decked in every hue. The clouds with orient gold spangle their blue. Here is the pleasant place and nothing wanting is save she, alas.